One of the great things that's come about in recent years is the drip irrigation systems that many of us use in our gardens. Next to me we have a, a half inch drip line that we have laid out throughout the garden. We have it attached to a time clock so that we have periodic watering that we can have on automatic or we can manually control the amount of water. Some of those will give a flow rate of a half gallon, a gallon, two gallons a minute. Overwatering in southwest Kansas can be a, a very serious problem at times. Uh, people don't realize that their emitters may be putting down a gallon or two gallons per hour and if they just leave their emitter on or perhaps forget that the water is still running, you can have a lot of saturated soil at the root zone of those plants. Small plants, newly planted plants, require less water just due to the uh, small amount of root system that they have. As they grow, then you may want to increase the amount of water that's applied. There are also different types of risers that are little tubes that can stick up and you can have those at various heights. Uh, there's other directional emitters, there's broadcast emitters uh, that you can uh, spray over an area. If you're using mulches, it all retains that moisture around the root zone of those plants and certainly enhances and so water application can be greatly reduced. To determine what the water needs of the plant are, if there's moisture down there, using the old thumb or finger method is always you know, a good one. If you can bring up mud or moist soil such as this, then you know there's no need to be running that water on those plants. Drip systems can be left in place year round. Uh, they, there's no need to lift them up. They will readily drain and have very minor problems as freeze up in the wintertime. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.